Brushing after eating damages your teeth, and most people don't realize it, but if you brush right after eating, especially something acidic, you're literally scrubbing away softened enamel. And in one clinical study, people who brushed immediately after eating lost more enamel and tooth structure than those who didn't brush at all. And that's where xylitol comes in because it doesn't just avoid the damage, it actually helps stop tooth decay. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to use it, when to use it, and what most people get completely wrong. Let's break this down. When you eat especially things like fruit, juice, vinegar, salad dressings, soft drinks, or even tomatoes, the pH level in your mouth drops. And that means your mouth becomes more acidic. And at a lower pH, typically lower than 5.5, the outer layer of your teeth, basically the enamel, starts to soften. Now here's the key part. Enamel is like glass, and once it's worn down, it doesn't grow back. So when you brush too soon after a meal, even with the best intentions, you're literally grinding away that softened enamel. And that's not cleaning, that's erosion. Even if you might be thinking you're doing the right thing by brushing after every meal, I understand why, because that advice has been out for decades, but the science here shows us a different picture. Now, in one clinical study, participants were exposed to acidic challenges, similar to what happens after you drink orange juice or soda. And in one group, one brushed immediately and the others waited. And the group that brushed straight away lost significantly more enamel and dentin, so the layer beneath the enamel, than those who didn't brush at all. So ironically, doing nothing would have been better than actually brushing at that moment. And here's the thing, this wasn't a fringe study, it's the kind of result that's been replicated in multiple pieces of research. And the takeaway here is clear, so brushing right after eating can actually hurt your teeth, especially if what you had was acidic. Now this is where xylitol becomes really useful. So if you can't brush your teeth right after meals without damaging your enamel, and doing nothing isn't a good long-term plan either, so what's the middle ground here? And it's xylitol. So xylitol is a natural sugar alcohol and is found in things like birch trees and corn cobs, and more importantly, it's found in things like gum, mint, and oil sprays. But unlike sugar, bacteria in your mouth cannot metabolize xylitol, so when they absorb it, they basically short-circuit their energy cycles and they die off. And it reduces the overall number of harmful bacteria, and that reduces acid, which means fewer cavities. But that's not all. Chewing xylitol stimulates saliva production, which plays a key role in balancing pH levels and remineralizing enamel. So xylitol isn't just not harmful, it's actually protective. And in that 30-60 minute window after meals when brushing can hurt your teeth, xylitol fills the gap. So when exactly should you use it? And the best time here is right after eating, especially if that meal contained acid or sugar. And that's when your mouth is in a vulnerable state. So bacteria are active, acid is high, and enamel is soft. And that's where xylitol can actually step in and calm everything down. So that's why I recommend chewing on xylitol gum or using xylitol mint after breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and even after snacks. And you don't need to wait. In fact, you shouldn't wait. So the sooner you use xylitol after eating, the more effective it is at neutralizing pH levels and preventing acid buildup. Now, to be clear, xylitol is not a replacement for brushing. So it's not a magic solution. You still need to brush and floss regularly, just not immediately after meals. And what it is, is a strategic tool. So it fits into your day, the exact moment when brushing isn't helpful. So when you've just eaten or when your enamel is at its weakest. So if you're at work, on the go, or eating out, it's a practical way to protect your teeth in real time. And for many people, especially those who are cavity prone, this small habit can actually make a huge difference. Now here's the problem, so most people don't know how to use xylitol properly, so they buy a pack of gum, chew one piece of gum after lunch or twice a week and expect magic, or they grab a brand that says sugar free, but it's loaded with sorbitol and other sweeteners that don't have the same effect. And what the research shows is you need a certain amount of xylitol per day spread out over multiple exposures to get that real anti-cavity benefit, and the product needs to contain enough xylitol for it to matter, and some gums only contain a trace amount, while others have enough to be effective. So it's not just about using xylitol, but it's about using it right. And that's exactly what I'll show you in the next video, a step-by-step -step protocol backed by research, because once you use xylitol the right way, it becomes one of the simplest and most effective things you can do to protect your teeth.